don't know my people, I'll go on big nine five, yeah. I gotta speak about that Uber thing, yeah. And the father trying to get in contact with his son now, yeah. After this time, yeah, where you ain't been in your son's life now. And then it comes to you watching that, your son almost dying, yeah. And now you're reaching out to your son, yeah. You know what I'm saying? First and foremost, I've got to say, yeah, as a father myself, innit? That's mad viewing. Do you understand where I'm coming from? As a father to watch that, yeah, knowing that you can't even help your son, regardless if you've been in your son's life or not. Just to watch that, a father's love for his son, innit? To watch that mad thing, innit? Painful, innit? Yeah. But what I will say is, this is why fathers need to be in their son's life out here, family. Because maybe if you was in your son's life, you would have helped him make better choices in the friends and the company that he's keeping, fam. So we don't really want to hear all of that, fam. Because that's, you see that view in there? That was the karma for you not being there, my brother. Because no one else is going to feel that pain but you. God gave you that pain, bro. Yeah, so you're reaching out on the thing saying, yeah, man, know his number. You go and look for your son. Don't ask a man about it and uh, give him your number or try to uh, search for his number. Go go personally, yeah, and physically, yeah, and go and look for your fucking son. God gave you a second chance with your son, fam. Many men don't even get that, fam. So just remember that one. Yeah, and it's not good enough, bro, that you weren't in your son's life, bro. Car, you see what nearly happened, bro. But as I just said in it, God gave you a second chance to do what you need to do, my brother. Yeah? Painful viewing, fam. Yeah? And this is a lesson. Remember, everything in life is a lesson in life, you know? So you got to learn this lesson. Your other fathers, go and look for your son, fam. Go and look for... You don't even know what situation your son could be in, fam. Go and look for your son, fam. Remember, fam. You don't want to see your son and no more, brother. Yeah? Remember that. So as I'm saying to the father, yeah, you got a second chance. Yeah? And your karma was to watch that happen to your son. Yeah, because no one else is going to feel that pain like you do. And we all felt pain watching that ourselves. Yeah, son gone viral for nearly getting killed. Yeah, we've got to set a better president out there as fathers, yeah. But, you know what? We have to, I give man, I give man, you know, for trying to get in touch, innit? We give him that, innit? At least you're trying now to make the right moves. Who are we to judge? We can only, like, guide each other to make the right moves out here, innit? And that's what it is. You don't know, big 9-5 is what I said. That was horrific. Use them. You mind the people them that you keep around you, innit? Watch the friends you keep, innit? Like levels, I said it yesterday. Yeah, just know what you're doing. You don't have to go certain places, fam. You remember that. You don't have to be sporting certain jewels in certain places, bro. No one ain't saying don't have your jewels, but just know what you're doing with your things and the man them you got around you, innit? Yeah, kind of everyone has your best suggestion. Oh, I am, my brother. Yeah. Posted something on my Insta as well. I'm not even too sure how long ago it was, yeah? But I know kind of recent issue, yeah? But what I'm saying. Mumsy grabbed, yeah, and brought to the door for access, you understand, on a robbery thing. And I'm saying, man, then keep your mum safe out there, keep your mum out of your business. If you men are fucking around, try not to let a man know where your mumsy's yard is from. You understand, car man are holding man's mum. We weren't doing that. We weren't trying to hold a man's mum unless a man held our mum. Do you understand that one there? But these days, you man, the way you man are moving, you're just trying to hold a man's mum, fam. It's crazy, yeah, car. That level there, you know, you're looking to die. So, when you remember youths, when you start doing these things, you're playing with your fucking life. Just remember that, innit? You touch people's mum, there's only one outcome, bro. Do you understand? Whether or not you're a good man or not, my brother, that's a level you're gonna draw a man to where you're gonna wanna take your heart and your soul out of your body, fam. So, remember what I'm saying, you man playing with each other's mums and that. Just know the levels. There has to be some sort of order to things, my brothers. Yeah, how the fuck are you just grabbing each other's mums and moving mad now? Yeah, order. No mums, man. No fucking mums involved in what we're involved in. If you're involved in what you're involved in on the road, no mums, fam. Yeah, just catch that level. Don't, no parents, fam. No elder grands, yeah? No pitney, them. Yeah, there's levels. If you're a bad man, then you just do it strictly bad, man, innit? 